been going very well in the sense of we're being swapped with people. You know, we start with a very limited amount of people. We were just doing the UE students and staff that had not been done before. But I was only expecting maybe less than 100, but we have at least 350 to 400 um, outside there. So, so the rollout is going well. People really want it, and they have responded well to the offer of the vaccine for today. Yes, well, Pfizer is a vaccine that we have to keep at very low temperatures, and we have to also be very sensitive to the temperatures that we we keeping them at while we're actually working. So we had to do some training on how, first of all, how we store the vaccine at minus 80 degrees, how we take it out, how we deliver it to the clinics, how we allow it to defrost, because there are certain periods of time you have to allow for it to defrost. And then you have to mix it with certain dilutant that comes with the vaccine, and that was what the training was all about. In addition to that, they sent us some syringes and needles that are particular to Pfizer. They're a little different to what we usually use, but so that was what the training was, and we did that yesterday uh, during the afternoon. So today is really our first day using Pfizer vaccine as a first dose for the public. And do persons have a choice between the Pfizer and the Sinopharm at this time? Or? Yes. Well, today we are offering both. So far we haven't had um, uptake of the Sinopharm up to this time, but there might be people who want them, and so we brought along the Sinopharm as well. We always believe in giving choices once we're able to do so. Well, that particular point is being debated. We're waiting on consultation and information from the Ministry of Education. We're ready to go whenever we get the OK. But at the moment, we're doing 18 and over. Anything else you'd like to add? No, I, yes, I want to add about the people who need to come for the second dose of AstraZeneca. We need to get those people up right away so that they can finish their course and be fully vaccinated. That's one. The second point I want to say is all of those who want Sinopharm, who want Pfizer, please, the app is going to be open today. Go on it, register, and come and get your first dose, at least, of either Pfizer or Sinopharm. Earlier, hundreds of persons turned up today for the vaccine. Would you be able to cater to all of those needs today? Well, we're trying. We're trying. I hope so. But as I told you, the defrosting process is one thing. So we have to be careful. We have to start to try to plan ahead how much to take out of that minus 80 so that we would have enough for the, for the people who come. So it's, it's a, you know, a waiting in a sense, but we're trying. We hope so.